And voters are headed to the polls for primary elections in New York and Florida, some of the last primary races before the midterms. In New York, longtime Democratic Congress members Jerry Nadler and Carolyn Maloney are facing off against each other after the state's congressional map had to be redrawn. Meanwhile, in Florida, voters will pick a Democrat to go up against Ron DeSantis in November. ABC News Deputy Political Director Avery Harper joins me live from New York now, along with Victor Okendo in Miami for more on this. Victor, Charlie Crist seems to be the favorite to win the nomination today to then compete against uh, Governor DeSantis. Now, Crist himself was once a Republican governor, but has since switched parties. What happens if he wins today as expected? What, how does that race look? Yeah, Diane, certainly a lot of interesting storylines here, and there is so much at stake. Governor DeSantis has a lot of momentum coming into this election. He's got such a firm grip on Florida right now that he's been spending a lot of time actually stumping for other candidates nationwide and following the passage of controversial education bills like the so-called Don't Say Gay bill. He's endorsed and even given money to some of his preferred school board candidates. Now, DeSantis, we should also mention, widely rumored to be eyeing the White House down the road. Uh, he's not even on the ballot today. He is running unopposed. So today it's going to likely come down to his Democratic challenges, which will be Representative Charlie Crist or Florida's agriculture, um, Florida's uh, agriculture commissioner, Nikki Freed. Crist, as you mentioned, Diane, he is a household name here in the Sunshine State. He was once the Republican governor. He has since switched parties. He believes that he can carry Democratic votes, sway the independents, and turn moderate Republicans. Freed is Florida's only statewide elected Democrat, making the case for progressive new leadership, vowing to fight on a number of issues, especially access to abortions. And she would be the first woman the elected governor here in Florida. Diane? Now, Avery, I want to go over to New York now, too, because we have these two veteran lawmakers facing off against each other. It's kind of unusual. How's that race shaping up? Right. Uh, this is one of the casualties, so to speak, of the redistricting process here that has been described as a mess by many political uh, experts here. These lines are redrawn uh, to make way for fairer districts, but they have uh, drawn incumbents into head-to-head uh, -head matchups. And the most uh, prominent one uh, that we have been monitoring is that race between uh, Congressman Jerry Nadler and Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. Both used to serve in uh, neighboring districts districts in Manhattan. Uh, now they are drawn into the same district. They're going to be uh, going head to head in a matchup that's going to leave one of them without a job. Uh, so that's something that we're watching today. We're at the polling place where uh, Congressman Nadler is going to be voting. He actually just walked into the building here uh, in Manhattan. And so uh, that's something that we're going to be watching. He is in a three way race between uh, him, Maloney and another candidate, third candidate, Suraj Patel, uh, who is arguing for a new generation of leadership. Both Nadler and Maloney are in in their 70s. And Victor, Democrats in Florida are also hoping to flip a Senate seat. What are their chances of succeeding? Yeah, Diane, we are talking about Representative Val Demings, the former police chief in Orlando. She is definitely the front runner here to win the nomination and challenge Marco Rubio for his seat. Demings touting her record as the chief of police. She has spent some serious money on TV ads. Right now, it's like you turn on the TV in South Florida, Florida in general, you're going to see one of her ads where she is just slamming Marco Rubio for his attendance record. And right now, with the balance of power being so tight, every seat counts. Diane? All right, Avery Harper, Victor Kendo, thank you both. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.